BP has been a, a pioneer in the oil exploration business for over 100 years. So during the last four years, BP has been very active in rebuilding its exploration portfolio. In total, we've accessed about 450,000 square kilometers of new licenses. That's the equivalent to the land area of California. But at the same time, we've also made some very exciting acquisitions in new areas like deep water margins of West Africa and Morocco, offshore Nova Scotia in Canada, the Great Australian Bight, where we're looking to open up new hydrocarbon provinces for the future. 2013 was a great year for BP. We drilled 17 exploration wells uh, and we've made some great discoveries. And that's a fabulous track record. In fact, Woodmat described us as the top explorer in 2013. It's critical to understand a hydrocarbon basin in its entirety. I would liken it to building a complex jigsaw. And we do this by integrating data from stratigraphy, from gravity and magnetics, from regional seismic and from outcrop. And we put all this evidence together. And from that, we create key depositional environment maps to hone in on where the key plays could be and where the prospects could be inside those plays. So basin mastery allows us to open up new plays in basins such as the Gulf of Mexico, in Egypt and in Brazil, we've been able to push steadily deeper into these basins to unearth and uncover new exploration discoveries. We're now looking underneath the salt in places like Angola uh, and have made some significant discoveries with Lontra and Orca. Looking deeper in a basin has enabled us to find fields in the Paleogene such as Tiber and Gila. BP has some of the best unconventional plays there are. We're now being able to expand and take that knowledge and apply it to new opportunities globally. A good example is in Oman, where we've used innovative new seismic acquisition techniques and new drilling and completions and stimulation technology to enable us to unlock multiple tight gas reservoirs. Just to give you an example of the impact of these technologies, we expect to be producing over 1 billion cubic feet of gas per day. We're leading the industry in the application of simultaneous source seismic acquisition techniques. In Libya, for example, we set an industry record by being able to achieve over 18,000 vibration points in one day. And the High Performance Computing Center in Houston keeps us at the leading edge. With 67,000 processors, we're able to perform over 2,000 trillion calculations per second. Now what that enables us to do is to really push the forefront of imaging technology at a rapid pace. Well, another area where I believe we can add a lot of resource in the future is in the world's giant fields. In Iraq, for example, where we're now developing the Rumela field, we're using the knowledge and information that BP gained when it worked there over 60 years ago. The technology allows us to locate the fields that previously we would never have been able to find. Our commitment to remain at the forefront of technological innovation means we'll continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in exploration.